My name is Sarah Sukor. I'm in charge of communications for the species conservation projects in WWF Malaysia. And I've been here for the past, oh, five years now. For the TX2 campaign specifically, we target um, the urban community as well as the local communities. Communications with the public is not an easy task. Um, I've been here for five years and the target audience differs from year to year, even month to month. For the urban communities, we utilize more of the new media or social media in order to engage with them um, because it's a modern society, as you know. If you continue doing what, what previously worked in the 80s or in the 90s, you're not going to get the support that you need in order to conserve tigers and other wildlife. And it's been quite hard to convince people how serious um, conservation is. It's not just about donating money um, to organisations for them to do the work, but it's also <clears throat> understanding the issues. So we have to go creative and think of ways outside the box to convince them to help us conserve wildlife on top of what they're doing in their normal lives. We've had a lot of um, uh, issues where people think WWF um, keeps tigers in, our, in the office and they would like to borrow our tigers for their shows. That's why we need to tell them, look, we are a research-based organisation. You have to understand our core work is not about you know just having wildlife present around us. Freeze Tiger Trade um, was held in conjunction with um, the World Tiger Day celebration. World Tiger Day fell on July 29th um, this year. Um, it was the first year it celebrated. Um, Freeze Tiger Trade was done on 30th July. Freeze Tiger Trade is the first ever tiger-themed flash mob in the world um, where we target the people who are always on social networkings, Facebook, Twitter, um, what's that thing? MySpace, <clears throat> in order to get their support to call their friends and their family to join the flash mob. Flash mob is the new way to get attention on certain um, topic that you would like to shout about, but you don't have the necessary tools to do so conventionally. So we did the Freeze Tiger Trade flash mob, the first one in Pavilion Kuala Lumpur, where more than 130 people joined the freeze. Um, they froze for four minutes on the ground to signify um, the tigers that have been poached or killed in the forest and traded eventually. And after that, we did a tiger-themed uh, dance to four songs. And the response that we got was so overwhelming that we had to do another one in conjunction with Malaysia Day celebrations. So as you know, the tiger was also featured in our uh, national emblem. So how else can we celebrate the tigers being on our national emblem, being a national icon, than doing a free Tiger Trade flash mob. Well, the reason that the tiger was chosen was definitely for its, you know, majesticness, its strength. So what other animal can replace the tiger on our national emblem to symbolize strength? The chicken? Or, you know, the goat? I don't think so. So when we have something um, in something as important as the national emblem, we have to try our hardest to conserve the actual animal on the ground. And it's not just about saving the animal, one animal, one animal, one tiger, one tiger. It's about saving the habitat. It's about saving the tiger's food. It's about saving um, what it drinks. It's all about 
an ecological system. It's a landscape that we're trying to save. It's not just one animal. Wildlife crime happens anywhere, anytime. So if you happen to walk into a restaurant and you even suspect that they sell or serve the, say, bear paw soup, you can even SMS or call the wildlife crime hotline and the authorities will take immediate action. So what we want everyone to do in this year of the tiger is to install the wildlife crime hotline number in their mobile phones. And the number is 19 356-4194 You are watching OneHijau.tv